Hey everyone, it's Dylan and Charlie from the Black Forest Wood Company. We're back again for another week here in the shop. So this week, we've got our first conference table that we've done in a long, long time. Uh, with everything that's been happening in the world, conference tables kind of went away and it was all about home desks. But it seems as though 2021, uh, conference tables are making a comeback. So we're going to show you guys the pour, the demolding, the flattening, and the finishing process to get this piece to this stage. It is Claro Walnut with what we call our smoky green resin, and uh, it'll end up getting shipped down to Colorado when it's done. So I hope you guys kind of enjoy seeing this process. Uh, and we're up to 108,000 subscribers already. Uh, you guys have been showing lots of support. So we want to hit 200K as soon as we can. So go down below, subscribe, and uh, even just leave a like. That really, really helps us out. So we've got this 13-foot Clara Walnut slab here. See, it's got some voids on the outside we're gonna fill with resin. And we're doing our smoky green. So haven't done a table with that for a long, long time, but it's one of the most popular colors we've ever done. Let's do it. Only one more bucket here, but I'll kind of give you guys a, I'll give you guys some close-ups. You can see that curl coming out of the, coming out of the wood there. So this will sit in here for about a week to cure up. We leave it in here. We like to cover the whole surface. Like you guys can see, we're just sort of flush right now. So we want to cover that whole surface so that when it cures, if anything soaks into the wood, um, we're still going to be above the surface. Yes, then we plane it. So we... We pour this in, we go over top, uh, we let it cure, and then we plane it back down to the raw wood. That's correct. Um, no, the overlay or the overpour of the epoxy doesn't stay on the wood. Um, it all gets machined back down. So we are now about to put the first coat of finish on that conference table you guys have been watching us work on. So it's 13 feet long, it's five feet wide, uh, it's Clara Walnut, and it's the first conference table we've actually done in a long time. Like 2020 basically had no conference tables at all. And then finally in 2021, we're starting to see them pick up again. Like we've got that conference table, uh, we've got an order for 12 office desks we're working on. So. It's coming back, so that's good, but Ben will kind of walk you guys through how he does this first coat now. Okay, so now that Ben has got the first coat on this, I'm just gonna kind of go over uh, what was used. So 
Obviously for the resin, we used our Black Forest Deep Resin. Um, this is a, a pretty thick pour. It's not a huge volume, but it is pretty thick and we were able to do it all in one shot. And then for pigments, we used avocado from Ecopoxy. And we also used caviar from Ecopoxy, which looks like this. So I know you can't really see the names on the labels right now. So maybe we'll, we'll put something on screen and we'll put some links in the description where you can get these. Um, we don't use Ecopoxy resin, but we do still use their pigments. So we sell these on our website. You guys can find them. For the finish, we used uh, on the first coat, the Osmo 1101 Extra Thin. Um, we'll usually do one or two coats of this just to really seal the wood for that initial coat because it is a lot thinner. And then we follow it up with the, with the I, don't, I don't have a can here of it. I only have a big can, uh, but we follow it up with the 3043 Pollux. So we'll put something of that on the screen and then we'll put a link for that too. And the combination of those two, we'll do like, let's say two coats of extra thin, two coats of Pollux, and then we'll follow up with our Black Forest Ceramics, do two coats of base coat, one coat of top coat, and that'll be finished. So this one obviously doesn't have all that yet and it will get quite a bit shinier before it is done. Yes, we've just uh, arranged a Black Forest Fitness Challenge. Ooh, <laughs> yes, be a fitness. <laughs> We're gonna see who can lose more poundage, Jesse or Joe. 300 bucks? 300 bucks. Oh. January 1st for two months. Boom. And that's what you missed. Hungry. I think I might have gained a little bit of weight over the. Is that what you tried to do? That's what I tried to do. I that's did. Whoa. 224. 224. <laughs> official weight for Joe. That's, that's nothing. And I'm old. I lost weight over Chris. Yeah, buddy. What are you it's gonna at? be easy? I'll just take your money right now. <laughs> how much is it? What? How much? How much money's on this? It's three hundred. So we agreed on. And he's gonna pitch in fifty to the winner. <laughs> I'm the winner. I'm already the winner. That I've already funny. won. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I gained weight! Yeah. Yes! Okay, so it is two months later since we did the uh, the original weigh-in. Um, how, how you guys feeling? Thin. Thin? You feeling thin. thinned out? I'm feeling yeah. thin. You feeling confident? A little bit. A little bit? What about you, Jesse? Ah, uh, just I feel limber. I just really feel limber. <laughs> Increase that flexibility? Yeah, yeah, I mean, the whole time, right, like this whole competition, I've just been grinding away. Hoping to lose like maybe half to one pound. We'll see. <laughs> Josiah Howell. Step on the scale. Previously weighed in at 224, right? I think. Now weighing in at 210 pounds. Woo! He has lost 14 pounds. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow. Okay, let's, let's get the percentage on that so we know what, what Jesse has to beat here. We're going by percentage, right? Yeah. Like, we don't really have to because I didn't beat him. <laughs> Joe, you had... You had about a 7% loss in weight. It's not bad. <laughs> now we have Jesse Jonner. Jesse! Jesse! Previously weighing in at... 251 or 252, one of them. We will double check. One of them is what I weighed before and one of them is what I weighed after. Stepping on the scale. <laughs> Two hundred and forty-six point five pounds. Four pounds, baby! Yes. That means the winner. Yes. Josiah. Woo! We're all winners here. I like We're all winners. winners. <laughs> Good game. Good game. Let's do it again. Let's do it again when the gyms are open and there's actually, you the know, gyms somewhere. Are open. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, about that. Oh, well, when McDonald's closes, then we can start. Woo! Yes. What are you going to do with your prize money, Joe? Um, Donate it? I'm going to buy a car. Nice. For $300. Nice. I'm going to yeah. buy Jack's car. Jack's <laughs> box for 300 bucks. Probably. I bought it for 100 so you never know. Oh, wait, no, I don't want Jack's car. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the process of that conference table. Uh, we've got a few more conference tables on the go already, so it kind of does look like that this year there might be some more. And then 
This week was actually Haley and I's birthday, so we just we had to get some Black Forest cake here to celebrate. Um, this is our favorite kind of cake, uh, so we just you know I just wanted to show you guys this, um, just this nice piece of Black Forest cake here. Um, yeah, maybe you'll be seeing it in the future. Maybe we'll eat it. Uh, who knows? But thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next week.